Okay, the goal of this tutorial is to uh, quickly show you how to use the render farm to take advantage of all of the computers that we have in the lab so that your renders don't take um, hours and hours and tie up machines unnecessarily. So the way the situation is organized in there is we have 12 computers. They all have software installed on them so that they can participate in a render farm. That relies on all of the files that you would use for your project to be located on Titanium Z. Uh, I've talked about this in Project Setup with Maya that it's imperative that when you open Maya for the first time, you set project and then you navigate to a directory on Titanium Z that you're working out of uh, and set your Maya project. Then open your scene file and always make sure that all of the components of your project are located within the project file that you've determined uh, via Maya. Uh, that way, when you render on the render farm, all of the other computers that are participating in the render can find the files. If you are placing your project file on the local hard drive or on your desktop or on an attached USB drive, then none of the other computers that you're asking to help render your scene can find the files because they're not available to those other machines. So that's why when you work for a company or you work for a studio or something, they will likely have a render farm and they'll have a, a shared storage device, which is what our, our what, what Titanium Z is. It's a shared storage device. So first of all, make sure that your Maya project file is located properly on the Titanium Z and that all of your files are linked up properly and they're all relative to your project scene file inside the project directory. All right, so that is a given. Uh, that's the first step. Uh, I'm going to do a demo using this uh, scene file that I used previously uh, showing you how to do a wireframe. So let's, let's see how we can do this wireframe render and distribute it to multiple computers. So here's my project. It's all set up. Um, and you'll see that I've got uh, my view set up so that I can see uh, my resolution gate. It's all framed properly. I know what image I'm going to get. Uh, this is just a 1080p image. I've got a bookmark so that I can uh, organize where my uh, viewpoint's going to be. And I've got an animation set up here, 240 frames, 10 seconds of rotation around this thing. Um, the image that I'm going to render is this image right here, a little wireframe uh, of my scarab and it takes approximately four minutes and 24 seconds per frame to render out one of these wireframes, all right? So if I were to try and do that with a batch render in Maya, it would just render on the local hard drive uh, here on this computer and it or using this computer's resources and it would uh, take quite a while to render 240 frames out at four and a half minutes a frame. So we want to make sure that we're distributing this uh, to the render farm to render. Okay. Uh, let us, so the next thing, once my scene is configured and ready to render, uh, Let's take a look at our render settings. You'll see I've got V-Ray set up here. I've got my resolution set. Uh, I'm gonna give this wireframe, give it a file name that it's gonna render to. Just for demo purposes, this is I'm just gonna ring, render out a ping. Normally you'd render out an, an EXR file. Um, it's all set up to render 240 frames got my camera selected and I've got my resolution selected and so we're ready ready to go. I've also got my override set to render my viewport subdivision so that I can see exactly what it is. It's going to render exactly what I see in my viewport uh, in terms of subdivision. Alright, so this guy's ready to render. Next thing I'll do is I'll look up here in my menu and you should have a menu item called deadline. What we use is a, a product called Thinkbox Deadline, which is a, a render farm, render manager program. And so you take your, uh, you have your scene all ready to go, click this little button. And 
and it'll think box about it for a little while and here we go and this is I'll give it a name more wireframe it's gonna pop up this little box and most of this stuff is is fine by default um, you can pretty much just leave all of these things they these customizations you can add if if you start running into problems make sure that your frame list is all your frames so 1 to 240 it usually just takes that from your scene file and make sure that your project path is up, is correct uh, otherwise if it isn't then you will you probably didn't set your project properly so it should be on titanium Z share uh, Maya render job everything else looks like it's good to go and just say submit job it'll take a second here to think about it put the job together it's submitting the scene files or file then you'll get this little little uh, result thing which says result success and gives it a job ID and it's rendering using V-Ray say OK you can close this down you can uh, you can actually close this machine down if you wanted to uh, and render uh, set in and uh, log out whatever what happens is is the render farm uh, will distribute the job the rendering of individual frames to individual computers that have the render farm or the render account logged in if uh, the machine is not logged into the render account then it won't contribute to the render job if someone is sitting and working on one of the machines uh, it will not contribute to the render job so the the main thing you need to do is to make sure that you're uh, that you have enough have some machines logged into the render account so that they can contribute let's take a look real quick here at the there's a thing called the deadline monitor I have it in my dot down here you can also find it up here if you type deadline monitor and it'll pop up this window and you'll see that up here at the top this green one this one is actually rendering it looks like right now machine number eight six nine two um, I'm not sure what 53 is that's a weird uh, number seven and three these are all contributing to the render here's the list of all the machines that are available to render um, you can you know work with your uh, render if you start getting errors will show up here you can right click and say uh, view job reports and that should pop up a uh, maybe it's popped up behind I'm not sure why view job reports there we go and if there were any errors they would show up here and you could select the report and it would give you a detailed outline of all the stuff that may be or you know if you're missing files or something like that it'll give you information but this is the actual kind of command line output you can see what frames are being rendered and all that stuff in the job report but the main thing that that's used for is if there's some kind of errors or something like that in which case here we don't have uh, these frames that are completed if you right click and you go view output you can select it and then show it in the default viewer it may not be a view output default viewer there we go and so there's the the frames you can actually preview the frames from inside deadline monitor make sure that everything's rendering out uh, as you expect it um, so it's a good way to monitor your job and see what's going on and so these jobs will all get submitted and they'll render in order um, as you output them Come on. there we go all right I'm gonna quit Maya here and one thing to notice 
is uh, so if I want my this computer to contribute to the render job uh, first of all I'll take a look on um, on titanium okay here we are we're on titanium Z share I'm looking inside my project directory scarab and then images and here are my images they're rolling out one by one as each of the computers you can see number one and number two are done uh, number three we're waiting on and four we're waiting on number five is already done so somebody's kind of slow some of the machines are slower than others some have uh, multiple d500 gpus and others have d700 so they may contribute quicker render quicker and that sort of thing um, i want this computer to contribute to the job so i'm going to log out of here in as I want to make this so right now this is a, a default login screen and it's not contributing to the render if I want this machine to help with the render I've got to log it in dash one and then there's a password which you should probably already have heard I won't put it online here you can ask your classmates or ask me for the password to log in you should already know and so now this machine now that it's logged in you'll see in a second uh, the deadline worker is going to launch which is basically telling the render farm I'm ready to render ready to contribute and you'll see as it connects to the repository it'll log pop up this uh, worker and you can see it's already uh, started it's already you know, grabbed a thread and it's about to start rendering on my job. Okay? And it will show you the progress as it renders through here, all that stuff. So that's how you use the render farm. Can't think of anything else you need to know. It's pretty straightforward. Hope that helps.